Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and it's been two weeks since my last zombie video. And there I am buying the revive right up front, and since everyone is going to ask me, yes, you can buy the revive when you're in solo mode without turning on the power. And it allows you to revive yourself. So no one else has to revive you, it just automatically revives you. So, I'll nip that question in the bud. And also, everyone said that I sounded like Will Ferrell or Randy from South Park, Stan's dad. So I just put in to the title of the video that this commentary is being done by Will Ferrell. So maybe that'll either get people to say, no you don't sound like Will Ferrell. Why are you saying you sound like Will Ferrell? You don't sound nothing like Will Ferrell. Or a lot of people will be like, oh my god, Will Ferrell played zombies? I gotta see this video. And as popular as zombies is, it's just ridiculously crazy. So in two weeks, I've had 104,967 views of my last video, and I just don't get it. Why are so many people watching me play zombies? If you can let me know why you're watching this video, that would be cool, because I have no idea why you guys are even watching this. Um, my first video... I didn't even know how to turn on the lights and so in my second video I didn't know how to activate the teleporter and this is really the third time that I've made a Kino Der Toten video and you guys have all helped me in the comments I guess you could just like helping a noob out and be like ah uh, I know how to turn on the power you idiot Will Ferrell Randy from South Park go to the stage and turn it on you idiot and so I went to the stage and I turned on the power and then I didn't know how to activate the teleporter and you guys told me how to do that and gave me some basic tips and strategies on how to survive I, su I survived to round six my first time and I survived to round eight my second time and this time I survived five till round ten. So that's not too bad, I guess, since I don't really play zombies that much. And I'm going for headshots here. I know that stabbing gives you the most points. But when a lot of zombies start coming in, I just start trying to shoot them in the head. And that was another good tip was throwing a grenade to make one of these crawlers. So they move around a lot slower and then you could go around and rebuild all your barriers and protect yourself. Some people said that they don't even like to rebuild the barriers, but I think that I survive longer when the barriers are up. So I rebuild the barriers. So my latest question for this video that I was hoping you guys could help me out with is how do you get a ray gun? or Zeus cannon or thunder gun these are guns that people have been saying like are the best guns that'll just annihilate the zombies and I didn't find it I did get the mystery box in this one but I get a ballistic knife which really kind of sucks when you're on zombies and I'm pretty sure that's the reason I died because I got the ballistic knife I thought it would be like super ballistic knife and I could just be like only use my blade and tell all the zombies sit down but it kind of sucked and the zombies didn't sit down when I stabbed them they just kept coming at me until they ate my brains so here is a mistake I make in this video I could have had the max ammo right there but I th try to throw a grenade and then it starts flashing and now I can't get to it oh my god wicked shrapnel you just wasted your max ammo you only have 11 bullets left and you could add a max ammo, you noob. Will Ferrell. <laughs> so, yeah, I regret that. But that's probably not even my biggest mistake in this game, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, here I go outside and I'm trying to decide, do I want to buy the AK-74U or not? Yeah, yeah, might as well buy it. Because it still is my favorite gun in multiplayer and so I'm used to handling it that's what she said but anyway let's see what am I doing here yeah fast forward I'm on level four now oh my god I'm so far in zombies I'm on level four 
Can you guys believe it? <laughs> so now I'm trying to go for headshots because they're a little too hard to stab now. So I'm just trying to shoot them all in their crazy glowing eyed freaky heads. They're even taking a lot of headshots too. It's like two or three headshots to kill these guys. So I'm definitely needing some better, more powerful guns. And I wish I knew where that ray gun or Zeus cannon is. Thunder gun. Are those all the same guns and just different names for them? I don't really know. I haven't even really watched videos on zombies to learn how to play better. I'm just kind of figuring it out for myself and reading your guys' comments. So now I have insta-kill and there's no one to instantly kill. That is not cool. I think I like just trying to figure this out for myself and reading your guys' comments and letting you help me. So... You guys are going to determine how far I can get in zombies. So I'm going to kind of make it, uh, you tell Wicked Shop know where to go. Because then if I suck, it's all your fault. <laughs> uh, but I am getting better. Every, every time I play it, I'm getting farther. And here is why the revive is so important. I need to get the Juggernog. That was another tip. Someone was saying Juggernog is a must. And I eventually do get the Juggernog. And it allows you to run past the zombies and get hit a few times without dying. And always lead them to like a, a choke point, like this doorway, so they're all having to run down here and I can just line them up and mow them down. I'm starting to run out of bullets. Rebuild all the barriers. And get some more AK 74U bullets. And I'm making my way to the stage. I haven't turned the power on yet. Some people are saying to try to hold out until I guess like six or seven until you turn on the power. What do you guys think is the best level to turn on the power? Because I'm. I think I'm getting ready to turn it on pretty soon. Double points. But then as soon as you turn on the power, that's when all the creepy crawler whatever's my precious comes out that explodes into gas. What's his name? Smeagol? That's when all the Smeagols come. Now the Smeagols are going to be coming down the walls. And here I go and run and buy the juggernog. And I think I also re-up on my revive. Get a little revive. And I like the blue revive. Someone was saying every time I see the revive, I just want to drink it. It does look delicious. The blue the blue drink. I don't know of any blue drinks. So here is me activating the teleporter. I was just wanting to test it out just to see what happens when I use the teleporter. Even though there's only like one crawler right now. And I go up there and see the Pack-a-Punch. People were saying to buy the Pack-a-Punch. Even though I don't really know what the Pack-a-Punch does. I guess it packs a punch. But it's $5,000 so it's expensive so it better be good. So I make it to round 6. And this is when the Hell Beasts come. And one thing I noticed with the Hell Beast is see that little lightning? You just aim right at the lightning, start shooting, and that's where the Hell Beast is going to be. So this one I can't see. He's coming around the corner, but you can see the flames coming up over the chair. So I know he's just about to come around the corner, and I can pump him full of lead. So there I'm just shooting at the, the lightning again. There's another lightning. Oh my god, more Hell Beast. Oh my god. I was able to panic knife him. I think one more hell beast. Die, you hell beast. And there's max ammo, and I reloaded my gun before I got the max ammo, which some people had said, oh my god, reload your gun. And you have to wait for the teleporter to cool down. I think at the beginning of the next round, you could do it again. So you could only do it once a round, I believe. And there goes the Smeagles coming down the walls. 
those things are freaky and you can't even see them. I think there was one on the stairs right there. I didn't see it. So here I activate the trap. People said use the traps more. So I try to use the traps more. And then I go into the teleporter. So another tip was to go up into the teleporter room and just throw grenades down on them. And so you can even buy more grenades up in this room. So I unload on them with grenades. I use, so I don't have any more. I go buy more grenades. Only $250. That's a deal. And I just keep throwing grenades. Try to throw them up on the stage. I go buy more grenades and keep throwing them. I think I'll wipe out just about this whole level just getting up there and throw a grenade. So that is a good thing to do. And then I'm in here with all the Smeagles, a whole army of Smeagles. My precious. Coming after me. That one's a fast, that's a fast little Smeagol. And then I get the atomic bomb. I wish I would have been able to save that until the next round, but because there was only a couple Smeagles left. And the thing is still cooling down. So I don't really have time to wait for it to cool down. I, I, I thought I would run up the stairs and throw some grenades at them while they're coming up the stairs. Which seemed to work pretty well. I think a lot of them got by my grenade. But it does give you a chance to make some of the crawlers. And I almost get trapped here. I back up too far and didn't make it through the gate. So there, the juggernaut saved me because I would have definitely been down for the count if it wasn't for the juggernaut. And don't forget to use your grenades. Grenades can rip them up pretty good. So on my last video, I told you guys if I got 300 thumbs up or likes, that I would make another video. And I got 300 thumbs up way too quick. So on this one, I'm going to say... 500 thumbs up so you just click the thumbs up like button on the video and once it gets to 500 I will start to make another video and for my next video I'm hoping to get the ray gun and I would like to know how to get the ray gun or the thunder gun so that's really what I would like for you guys to leave in the comments on how to get some of these beastly guns that I'm hearing about in the comments, but I didn't really get details on how to get those guns. So there I used the trap, and I actually had to skip because I was running out of time. I can only make a video that's 15 minutes long, and so I had to skip a little part there, but nothing really happened anyway. So here I trade my MPL for the ballistic knife because I thought I was going to be use me blade. And there I had to skip a little action too. And there... The, the blade is not really that great. And I'm not able to use the teleporter. I'm missing with a knife. And, oh my god. I'm really starting to fail here. This is when it all goes down the tubes. I almost blow myself up with a nade. I get blurry vision from the shock of the grenade. Another thing I was wondering is how come Kino Dratoten is so popular? Because I made a a uh, zombie video on five and it didn't get nearly as many views as the Kino Dratoten video. I guess this is the one that most people get to play first and you have to actually beat the single player game before you can play five so a lot of people are looking on YouTube for the Kino Dratoten. I think I'm saying that right. Maybe it's Kino Dratoten. It's like German. So here we are nearing the end of the video. The Smeagles overrun me. My revive kicks in. And it's all downhill from here. So be sure you uh, thumbs up this video if you guys want to see more of it. And be sure to leave comments. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of my videos. Say you suck Wolf Barrel. <laughs> Randy from South Park. Who else do I sound like? So let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.